This is Where the Wind Blows. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's episode of Where the Wind Blows. I'm E.T. broadcasting to you from Woodstock, Ontario. The day is April the 26th, 2014. One thing we want to talk about is body personalization. When does it get too much? All that more coming up on Where the Wind Blows. First, here's Headley with Color Outside the Lines.
Welcome back to Where the Wind Blows. You were just listening to Color Outside the Lines by Headley, The Middle by Jimmy Eat World, and Cross My Heart by Mariana's Trench. So there's this picture or set of pictures that's going around the internets right now where there's this person, won't name gender or anything, and said person has spacers in his cheeks, spacers in his nose, Spacers in his lips, his his or hers. Uh, okay, his. Let's just kind of get it out there. He has a piercing under his eyeball. And yeah, and when I mean a spacer in his cheek, it's probably you could probably fit a you know a can of coke in there. You can see his tongue. You can see his teeth through his cheek. We asked for your thoughts. We had a variety of thoughts, actually. So it's a, we got a good mix this time. Personally, 
it, well, I have mixed reviews. If you can plain as well getting a job, that's his own damn fault. I have to, do have to say, though, it is kind of disgusting to look at. It's not a pretty picture. But let's take a look at some of the comments we have here. We have uh, Carly G said, I just had breakfast, and I can feel it coming back up. Why? Just why? Keep those spacers in your ears if you must have them. From Jessica C., Make yo mom make ya mama cry. Uh, our very own staff said, "I'd hate to see what he looks like when he's seventy and his skin is sagging." Uh, also, our very own Jessica M said, "It's a personal choice. If he likes it, leave him be." Which two Jessica C responded, "Yeah, well, he better not turn around and bitch. He can't get a job because personal choices can affect professional opportunities." Again, check out the Facebook page, facebook.com slash where the wind blows to see what this guy looks like. It's Personally, I, I think it's you take body. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna say use the word mutilation to a whole new level. Spacers, you know what? I don't mind them. If you if I can look through and see, you know, the side of your head, they're a little big. You know, personal opinion, of course. Logan, I don't know what he agrees on, but he's just voicing an opinion of some sort. But like I said. You know, I'm all for personal choice. I'm all for, you know, do whatever the hell you want. It's your body. I don't care. But I think this might be taking it a little bit too far. Anyways, we're going to take a quick music break here. So here is Panic at the Disco with Nicotine. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Where the Wind Blows. You were just listening, if you forgot already, to Nicotine by Panic at the Disco. Speaking about nicotine, 
and smokes and stuffs and all that kind of stuff. Age restrictions. You know how cigarettes have age restrictions and alcohol has an age restriction and so does the lottery. Do you think that energy drinks should have an age restriction? Facebook.com slash where the wind blows, Twitter.com slash where wind blows are, or comment in the comments below this episode on Spreaker. Personally, I think that energy drinks should come with an age restriction because, I mean, let's look at the fact how much sugar and caffeine are in this stuff. It could easily give you a heart attack at such a young age. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous what kind of crap is in this stuff. And I see high school kids walking around with them, you know, have drink, drink like four or five of them a day. It says right on the can, it says right on the label, do not exceed more than one or two a day. That's it. There's a reason for that. High school kids, you shouldn't be staying up late enough. You should be staying up late and trying to do your homework and going to class the same the next day. And if you want to stay awake, A, go to bed early or B, why don't you drink a coffee? Energy drinks are not the solution. Okay, I understand, you know, if you're a, a parent and you work midnights. You know, understandably so, a coffee is just not enough. Whereas high school kids, you have the option to go to bed early or have a coffee in the morning. You have time to do so. Again, that's my opinion. Open it up to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash where the wind blows, twitter.com slash where wind blows are. Just let us know. We would really like to know what your opinion is on this. Anyways, we're going to take a quick, quick, quick music break with Carry On by Fun. Here it is. The sound of silence the cars were cutting like knives in a fist fight. And I found you with a bottle of wine, your head in the curtains, and heart like the fourth of July. You swore and said, We are not, we are not shining stars. This I know, I never said we are. Though I've never been through hell like that I've closed enough windows to know you can never look back If you're lost in a vault Or you're sinking like a stone Carry on May your path be the sound of your feet upon the ground Carry on Carry on Sink. 
And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Where the Wind Blows. You were just listening to Carry On by Fun. How many of you out there still do karaoke? Go to the bar and just get up and do karaoke. Sober, drunk, whatever. It doesn't matter. How many of you still do it? There are actually YouTube videos out right now that can you can do karaoke from home. You don't need a microphone. You can have as many drinks as you want. You're at home. doesn't matter unless you're driving. Don't drink and drive. That's it. So if you still like karaoke, you can still do karaoke without having to leave the house. Invite some friends over. Just karaoke in your apartment. How awesome is that? I was out with a buddy last night and he, well, not out. I was at his place last night and we just did some karaoke and it was a lot of fun. And that was one of the songs that you were just listening to, Carry On by Fun, that we karaoke to. A lot of fun. And, you know, the best place to do karaoke is with your friends. So you're, you know, not embarrassed in case you screw up because, you know, your friends are not going to laugh at you. They will laugh with you when you screw up. Fun fact about karaoke. It is a Japanese term, a uh, compound word of the word kara, which is empty, and okasotra, which is orchestra. So literally, karaoke means empty orchestra. I bet you didn't know that, unless you've watched the beginning of How I Met Your Mother, which was a long time ago. Then that was actually explained by Ted, saying that karaoke actually means empty orchestra. So... There you go. It was originally developed in the 1960s. And it originally used cassette tapes that just had the lyrics taken out. And of course, it was developed so then they used CDs and VCDs and now DVDs. And now you can just do it digitally on YouTube. And it's just amazing how far we've come. Instead of having to go to an actual, you know, arcade to use a, uh, a karaoke machine there or buy a karaoke machine. All you need is a computer, the internet, and speakers. And you can actually do your own karaoke from home. How cool is that? Here's another fun fact about karaoke. Hungary holds the record for the longest karaoke marathon with multiple participants for an event organized at the Honey Grill restaurant. Check this out. It lasted for 1,011 hours and one minute and it lasted but it started on the 20th of july 2011 and finished the 31st of august 2011 each song was over three minutes long and the gap between the two song between the, between the two songs was no longer than 30 seconds and no song was repeated in any two-hour period how cool is that thank you wikipedia for that entry so there you go 10 1011 hours and a minute for car- for a karaoke Marathon. How, how, that is so cool, eh? Anyways, we'll take one more quick music break before we finish the show. Here is Thanks for the Memories by Fallout Boy. I'm gonna make it bend and break. Say a prayer, but let the good times roll. In case God doesn't show. And I want these words to make things right, but it's the wrongs that make the words come to life. Thanks for 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Where the Wind Blows. You were just listening to Thanks for the Memories by Fall Out Boy. Gonna try something new here, ladies and gentlemen. And the end of every show before the last song is going to be a quote. So, let's try something new here, alright? Here's your quote for the day. You are you, don't try to be anybody else, because there is nobody else but you. Sounds kind of nice. This is E.T. Until next time, cheers. Oh.